Now we've had some time with it, the brand new World's Edge update is really cool, but it seems it may be one of the last ones. Because if you didn't know this, World's Edge map update had a weird code name. You see, every single map update in the files is codenamed MU, map update, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, etc. But the weird thing is, this World's Edge update was classed as a health update at HU, that's what it's called in the files, and the only other map to receive a health update was Kings Canyon back in Season 14, and there's two things we think this is. Number one, the possibility I lean to the most is that a health update is actually the last update a map will receive, and it makes sense because Kings Canyon was the first one to get one, and World's Edge was the second one to get one, and we get a map every single season, and Respawn can't keep updating like 10 maps at once, they have to retire some at some point. So these health updates are the final ones, which kind of makes sense if you think about it, it because these final updates are big and they also bring the map back to season one in a way because the king's canyon update returned school town and the world's edge one returned fragment and the second theory is health updates are just big balancing updates for the maps but honestly looking at the maps it doesn't really make too much sense compared to a normal map update i personally honestly think health updates are the final update ever because respawn just can't maintain several maps at once but i guess that's the joy of a live service game you have to go along and see what respawn have planned maybe they don't even know what health update is i just think it's no Notable that Respawn give it a different codename in the files this season that people have associated with the final update. So what are your thoughts? And do you think World's Edge is in a good position to just kind of retire it and let it float around now? And also subscribe.